welcome back to Udelima's Concept. What we're looking at today is um, a CXC question that seemed to be a little problematic. It seemed as if there is an error, but let us see if there was really an error or it was just not the regular way that they set these questions. All right, let's try this out. Um, all right, so let's try this out. It says, Jim packed several cases of fruit juice for sale. Each case contained 24 boxes of juice in three different varieties. And the varieties are as follows. We have apple, orange, and pineapple, all right? So those are the different variety that we had. Um, the ratio was two to five to one. How many boxes of pineapple juice were there? So we have A for apple, two, um, O for orange, and that's five, and P for pineapple, that's one. So this was the ratio that we got, which would have been a total of eight parts. All right, so ordinarily speaking, we could find one part, all right? So this eight parts, as you know, was equal to 24 fruit juice. So one part would be equal to taking that 24 and you divide it by eight and you're gonna get three, right? So here is the deal. Our pineapple was actually one. So definitely for pineapple, then we could say that um, one times three tells us that we had three boxes. And I'm gonna put it like this, three boxes per case. So we had three boxes in each case, three, right? All right, and that's a pineapple. Now let us jump into the part of the question that may be problematic. Let's take a look at it. Now, this part to the question, it says here that the profit, so we were told that the profit gained by selling all boxes of pineapple juice is $35.64. So that's the profit made, right? Each box was actually sold for $3.34. All right. Now they're saying show that the cost of a box of pineapple was $2.35. Now, when you look at this, it's for three marks. It really tells you that they really want you to dig into something. Now, ordinarily speaking, they would have given us the number of boxes um, number that were packed, or they would have told us how many um, cases were available, but they didn't, which means that we're gonna approach this from a different angle. Here is the approach. If, if we have three pineapple, if we have three pineapple per case, it simply means that the number of pineapple juices are multiples of three, okay? So the number of pineapple juices can only be, so we're talking about the number of pineapple juices, could be three, could be six, it could be nine, it could be 12, could be 15, could be 18. And it's a multiple of three, which will take on three N because it's a multiple of three. Now, this is what we're gonna have to do now. Here is when we're gonna have to sort this out. Take a look. They want to know, they want us to show that it costs this, that one box costs this. So let us approach it from this point of view. We're gonna let X represent the number of boxes of pineapple juice, and we're gonna let Y represent the cost for one box, okay? So here is the deal. If um, we were told that one was sold for $3.34, so $3.34, we're going to multiply this times X because X represent the number of them that were sold. We're going to, so this part will give us the total money collected. This is our total collected. Now we're going to subtract from this the price for one times how many were sold. Because remember, Y is going to represent the cost for one, right? Now, so this is the cost. So basically then when you subtract this, you're getting your 35.64. That's what they're saying. How much it cost me, right? Um, as it relates to how much I sold it for because I sold it for this amount here, all right? So now let's take a look at how we're gonna max it out. What I need to do is I need to substitute 
these for x because x can only take on the form of a multiple of three. One of these number going forward, one of these number going forward would work this out to show this, all right? So you could try that because we're trying to find y, but we have multiple things that we could try for x, all right? So I'm just going to try the one that worked. This is the one that worked. For example, we're saying 3 times 3.134 times 36 minus y times 36, because I'm saying that 36 of them were sold. And when you subtract this, this is the profit. So basically selling price minus our cost price, giving us that profit right there. Let's see. Now, when we multiply this, we're getting 120. Let's put it up. This is giving me 120.24. And this is giving me negative 36y. And this is going to equal to 35.64. Now, let us subtract 120.24 from both sides. So negative 36y is going to equal to negative 84.6. Now, in order to find, in order to find y, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 36. So 84, negative 84.6 divided by 36 will tell me that y is equal to $2.35. So this would have proven that it one of them would have cost this, right? Because I just found Y and Y represent the cost for one box. So this is an idea. This is not the ideal way that the question would be set up, but for three marks, they probably wanted you to put in some work. So the key for this for me was that we are looking for numbers that are multiples of three to be the number of k number of boxes since in each case we had three. Now let's go and do the rest of the question. Now the other part of the question suggests that for one mark it says, well, find the calculate the profit, the percentage profit made on the sale of box of pineapple. So the profit as a percentage. We were already told what the profit was. The profit, the monetary profit was $35.64. Let us look at what it actually cost us. The cost price was actually $2.35 times 36 of them. So let's work that out. We're going to get $84.60. This was the cost for the 36 boxes. Profit as a percentage. Percentage profit is equal to your profit over your cost times 100 profit, 35.64 over the cost, 84.68 times 100. And then this would give us, it was actually a 42.1% profit. There you go. Thank you for watching Delimax Concepts. See you next time. Bye-bye.